how to download the transfer file. Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to upload and download files using WeTransfer. Use your browser and navigate to WeTransfer.com and you will see the screen like mine here. So if you have the registration, just log in. If you don't have it, just tap on the sign up and choose the appropriate commission plan that you want to use. And generally, the free plan allows us to upload and download the files up to two gigabytes. So just tap on the create account. And the easiest way is just tapping on the continue with Google. I already have the registration. I'm using this software right now. So I will just tap on the login and continue with Google now. Voila, we're inside the application right now. Uh, in order to send the files, it is simple as pushing this button, send a file. Just tap on it. And the menu with only one big plus in the middle of the screen will be opened. Tap on the upload files. And you will prompt it to choose to load from your photo library. You can take a photo on video and upload it instantly to WeTransfer or choose the files from your files application. Uh, I will just use my photo library for now. Uh, let's choose this video I have created recently and tap in the upper right corner on the add button. Now we can rename the file. You can add a message uh, to someone if you are sending with some instruction. Let's choose this Tony's how to tutorial. And the only thing you need to do is tap on next. You have two options here. You can send this as an email. If you just want to use the link, you can choose get a link. Now tap on the bottom right corner, get a link button. What we see now, the file is uh, now uploading. Once it's finished, we will receive the link so you can share with your friends or you can use it by yourself. So now you can copy the link. We will just open an the search and I'll show how it looks like. So was it copied the link? Tap on I agree, tap on OK. And if you're sending the link to someone, you he will see just the same screen as we see right now. And he can tap on the download file and it will be downloaded to your storage. You just need to tap on this download button again and it will be downloaded to your file gallery. So the second option is to use the application that we transfer has uploaded to App Store. Let's see how it works. We transfer, tap on we transfer, tap on get application here, double click to install, tap on the open button, tap on the get started, and we have several options to choose from the subscriptions. As we already have this account on WeTransfer, we can just tap on the login button. But if you're just registering via the application, at the upper left corner, you will see the sign up free button. Let's tap on login and login with our Google account. The application is pretty simple. You have several options how to use it. You can tap on the plus in the bottom left corner and upload files. You can set the expiration date and add a password if you have the paid subscription for this. The free uploads are up to two gigabytes. You have same two options as we have already seen in the browser version. If you tap on the send an email, you will be Ask to insert the email you want to send the link to. And if you're just tapping on the get link, you're just getting a link from the application, which stores your file within seven days. We have the history of our send files here. As you see, I have been using this for a couple of days already. Once you tap on the received button, 
there will be a list of the incoming files that somebody has sent to you directly to this account. And the information regarding your account will offer you to upgrade to the pro or premium version. You can also change the app application, report an issue, log out or delete the account. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, you can use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.